What's cracking, YouTube? Back with another video, man. Yeah, Dark Fall. Always gonna catch me here. Right about now. About the time it is. But I've been out here grinding. I wasn't gonna make a video, but I decided to go ahead and pull the camera out because <clears throat> I'm out here. Shoot. Trying to get this. These spindles ready. I done uh, cut the ends off of them. Because you know you got to cut the ends off to mount the brackets for that uh, wheel wood kit. So, I done cut the ends off. Because your bracket going to go on. Let's see. Like that. Holding this a little crazy, but y'all see the bracket going to go on like that. So, this is the... Uh, so pretty much what I gotta do is drill them holes out and retap them. So I done cleaned the spindles up. I done wire weld them. So what I'm about to do now is I'm about to paint them and uh, let them dry while I go put this other QA uh, QA one control on. I mean, not control on. Uh, shop. And on the, uh, what the other piece at? Cause I don't want to run over this shit. There we go. I'm gonna put the shock in on the driver's side. So that way, this is the passenger side. That's the passenger side, this is the driver's side. Boom. Y'all see you had to cut this piece off kind of like that once again so your mountain bracket goes like this boom there you go then your caliper will mount to this bracket then you know your rotor will go on your spindle so all right let's go ahead and let me find my paint well my paint is over there so Let's see. Got the shock right here. I done wiped that one down. Y'all see I done greased the shock already. I got this on gun with the uh, NICs already on it. These my pieces that's gonna go on. This one come with the Bonita bearings in it and on this one. So when you turn it, it slide easier. I wish I had them on the Malibu. I ain't even know nothing about them until I seen this kit, so. All right, I got some cardboard over here where I can put that spindle on and go ahead and paint it. I probably got dirt all over my face too, but it is what it is, baby. I got an extra light too. So I went and bought me another light. Got two of them on deck. And this one is the passenger side. So we're gonna hang this one over here. Go ahead and spray it. That way, we can go ahead and put the other one on. Because on, I already got this side. Now, let me show y'all. I already got the shock on this side. <clears throat> Just got to put this spindle on this side. So, what I'm about to do is sit this. So, I'm going to go ahead and paint that. Then I'm going to get the other one. Okay, I got enough paint left. Should. Just, just these spindles. So I'm going to sit for a few minutes. Now the 
pack. I'm gonna go over there and grab that other one and go on and paint it too. Cause it ain't gonna take that long to put that shock on that side, so. Oh shit. Gotta get the bottom of it. Can't have the suspension out here looking bogus now. All right, y'all. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna find my tripod, get y'all set up so I can go ahead and mount this side, get this other spindle painted so I can put it all together. So that way, next video, we'll be putting them damn uh, rotors together. I gotta get a torque wrench too, cause mine broke. So probably get one from the shop for my buddy Randy. So I'm gonna cut y'all back on in a minute. I'm gonna get these spindles painted. Get this other shock put in on the driver's side. We work in the dark. Come on, ride with me. All right, guys, we back. We got the QA1 coilover installed. We got the spindles cut, how they need to be cut. Got the spindle installed. So that was a good little bit of work tonight. Got both sides installed. And once again, like I said, this spindle got to be cut like that. It got to be modified because of, because of the type of brakes, the wheel wood brakes that it is. You got to cut clearance. And uh, I still ain't done it yet. I got to drill out that hole and that hole and then re-tap it with a fine thread for the, uh, for the caliper bolt. And I got the coilovers up a little bit. I'm probably lift them up a little bit more once I get the front suspension on. So the next video, we're going to be going ahead and putting the in and out of tie rod ends on. Uh, we're going to put that sway bar on. Pretty much going to try to go ahead and complete the whole suspension. Honestly. <clears throat> or oh, I might just... No, I'm probably just going to put these rotors on. Because that's going to be a video itself. Well, I could do the rollers and the up and the sway bar and the in and out of tie rod ends. Because those in and out of tie rod ends is literally two bolts. Because I already got them put together. So, that's on that's that on that tonight. I need to put my light on the charge. I don't even know what I done did with my other one, y'all. I got another brand new light. I just had it talking shit about my new light. And I done misplaced it. Put the tripod up. Okay. Let's see. Let me clean up my mess. Put that paint on here. Because I'm going to need that again. Just in case I got to touch up some stuff. Put this up. I try to steal impact. When I get finished, I'm gonna clean this thing out. Probably how that my buddy uh uh watch man from uh, mobile get him to come over and, and detail it for me. I almost got all the 
suspension whip, so I'm probably going to trash all this. I wanted to get everything put on first, so I got to see if I'm going to use these, if I'm going to have to use these bolts. Or it came with its own hardware. But we're going to go over here and see. But, like I said, once again, we got it mounted, guys. Only thing left to do now is put the rotors in and out of tie rod in. And then, she suspension by whoop. I ain't going to do the back suspension until I get the uh, re in. I already ordered the re in from Quick Performance. We went with a. Uh, A nine inch with what the fuck this is that driver? They don't drop some shit. Oh, that's on my other light. But we went with a four nine inch, four eleven gear, thirty five spline axles, the red wheel wood disc brake calipers for the rear. Uh, we got an Eaton True Track Posi. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, that's it. And we got the wheel wood package to come with it. So, yeah. And that re end, they told me it's gonna be about five weeks. So, shit, we ain't gonna get that re end until, shit, middle of January. But, I already gonna put these in and out of tie rod ends together. This the passenger side, this the driver's side. So, I'm going to call the pin right here. So, that way when I bolt it up, boom, done. We still going to have to get a front end alignment in there. Oh, this is trash. Uh, this all my stuff for the rotors. That's the rear swivel. Put this over here out of the way. Yeah, I see you got the radiator came in today. Got the radiator and all the rest of that other shit. Gas tank right there. So, hold on, guys. All right, guys, we back. Have phone call. All right, let's. I'm hoping this the front sway bar. This is all the rear stuff. Like I said, we ain't put none of this rear suspension on until we get the rear end. That's the uh, lower control arms, the upper control arms right there, and them the shocks. So. Let's see what we got. Plates, 
that. Questions. All right, I need to see if I'm gonna be other my instructions, but hardware, hardware. Am I gonna have to use the factory bolts? That's what I wanna know. No more bolts in there. Gotta be. everything with the front sway bar i gotta throw some shit away because i got too much shit going on in here right now so but once again we got the up and lower controls arms installed we got the spindles cut for the wheel wood uh what's the name of this one I know people be asking me all these goddamn part numbers and I don't even be knowing. Cause I've been on that. I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to put it in the description. The spindles are cut for the wheel wood disc brakes and rotors, the four piston kind. So you gotta cut it, modify it, modify your spindle so you can bolt them on. Cool. All right, we're gonna be going on with the front sway bar in the next video. And your inner and outer tie rod ends and your brakes and rollers. And we're gonna be locked and loaded, baby. Then after that, she's gonna be dropped back down. I got the batteries over there charged up, and we're gonna be ready to bend some cones. And then we gotta go get a front end alignment for show sure, for show. Sure. I'm gonna take it, get a front end alignment, and we're gonna drive it. We're gonna see how she rides with the uh, shocks. Till I get them dialed in, I gotta figure out how to dial them in again. I did my car, but it's been so long ago. I got to figure out how to do it again. So I'm going to holler back at y'all next video, man. Y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all tune in to the 89 Caprice Box Chevy build. We're going to build this one all the way to the T, the same way we did Big Blue. So like I said, y'all tune in. All right.